investigators are uncovering some mysterious details about a deadly plane crash at Nashville International Airport. Unusual story. The small plane is actually registered in Canada. The wreckage, however, wasn't discovered for hours. As Fox 17's John Dunn reports, it is likely that plane crashed early this morning while trying to land in heavy fog. A small pile of wreckage is all that's left of a Cessna 172 airplane. The crash on runway 2 center happened sometime after 3 a.m. as the plane was landing. Investigators say the plane is registered out of Canada, and Fox 17 News has learned it's affiliated with the Windsor Flying Club in Ontario. This is the picture of the plane before the crash. Mysteriously, the plane crashed in the middle of the night, causing a small fire, but it wasn't discovered until 9 a.m. by a taxiing pilot. Emergency crews found one person dead, and it all happened under a dense overnight fog. As far as flying in, you know, weather that is low in visibility, fog is by far the worst. Dale Kimbrough owns Nashville Flight Training. He teaches new pilots to fly in Cessna 172s, the same type of aircraft that was involved in the crash. In fact, the Windsor Flight Club also teaches pilots. Kimbrough says pilots need to be instrument rated, which requires more training before flying in low visibility fog. This morning, from what I hear, it was very, very poor. So uh, I'm, what I'm understanding, it was down to less than a mile at times. The National Transportation Safety Board has been called to investigate this crash. They will try to learn everything they can about what led to this accident. There is curiosity about why the plane landed here at 3 a.m. The Windsor Flight Club did not want to comment when reached by Fox 17 News. And the NTSB has not been able to determine if the pilot ever filed a flight plan. We do know one person is dead, and many questions still remain. John Dunn, Fox 17 News. Now, the name of the pilot still has not been released tonight. Runway 2 Center has been closed since the crash this morning. The other three runways at Nashville International handled all the takeoffs and the landings today.